Hello all YouTubers again, this is Rudy, K7RAW, the Antenna Whisperer, coming to you again with a really cool solution I want to share with you guys. What you're looking at is my electric scooter, and I have a 20-foot whip that goes all the way up here. Uh, it's a telescoping whip, 14 sections. And what I want to show you today is a really slick solution with the Yaesu radio in combination with the LDG RT100 remote antenna tuner. Now that's this little gray box here and it does not require any external power. It's delivered all by the radio. Uh, what I've got here is I've got the the uh, power com uh, RF coming out of the antenna into the LDG and then coming out of the LDG through some of these um, clamp-on chokes okay uh, into the base of this whip right down here and what I want to show you today is something really sweet and that is the, the ability of the Yezu radio when you put it in a task mode that it can actually tune to the antenna tune the remote tuner directly using that tune button and let me just first say that the first time you set that up, get it all hooked up, it'll go, the Yezu will go into init mode. Well, that's where it normally is trying to send signals to the ATAS antenna to go up and down. So the first thing you have to realize to do is you have to put this guy into ATAS mode. I've got it in HF and 50 uh, megahertz mode. So, and I've, I've also turned down the, uh, the RF power down to about 20 watts just to be on the safe side. It only puts out about 5 watts when it's uh, doing the tune function. But once you go through the init mode, and you'll see it init here for about a minute or two, but all it's doing is it's sending signals to the ATAS, or what it thinks is the ATAS. Well, the LDG just ignores that, and <clears throat> then when it's gone through that cycle, it should say ATAS right here. ATAS. Well, at that point, you're ready to tune up. So you just basically press that until, whoops, excuse me. You press the function button once and till you see the MF, multifunction uh, kilo. Okay, that'll be the tune up and down. So you just kick that out and then you're back in normal mode. Now all you have to do literally is press and hold this for about a second until you hear it go beep and then you should see it hunting. And the SWR is the bar on the left. You'll see it go up and down and hunt. Watch. Ready? Here we go. Okay, so now it just found a solution of that it remembered at this frequency. All right, so let's go down about 100 kilohertz. Find a, a blank spot. It's mostly blank. We were going undergoing a coronal mass injection right now, so the bands are pretty, pretty dead right now. Okay, so it found a, a solution there, and I've done it before. So let me do something here. Let me take down this whip by a few sections, three or four sections, and let me try a retune now. Okay, are you ready? There it goes. It's hunting. You see the left bar go up and down, up and down. Wait until it goes until it stops transmitting. That's the transmit light up here. Wait until it stops transmitting and goes beep when it found a solution. And it's still hunting. There it goes. So the transmit light has gone out. It's back to green. And if I hit tune again, you'll see the SWR is really low. Oh going through another cycle again not sure exactly why but uh, maybe I change frequencies or something but it's finding the solution finding the solution hunting 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 it's almost there it goes and it found a solution and when I measure this with the nano VNA it's typically around 1.0 1.1 so there you have it now, any of the Yezu HF radios, the 857, 897, 891, 991, and I think the DX series, 
uh, work all the same way. As long as it supports the ASAS antenna, you can do the exact same thing. And lo and behold, you don't need the little tuner uh, bias T box in the shack to drive this thing anymore out there by the antenna. It works directly from the radio. So I want to share this with you real quick, folks, and uh, because I think it's uh, really useful to have, when, especially when you're going out on POTA expeditions. All right, till next time, this is Rudy K7RAW, your antenna whisperer, saying 73, and have a great day. Bye-bye.